Gotta keep working. <laughs> How's quarantine life? Uh, I'm enjoying it. You know, I get time off school, so. There you go. All good for me. Nothing better. So you attended Boston College. How was your season? How was your season there? It was good. Yeah. So I uh, started there in 2015 as a freshman, uh, and just gra I graduated in May of 2019. So my last season there was two seasons ago, 2018. Um, and I went to we went the team went to three bowl games out of the four years, which is a lot of fun. Um, it's always good to keep playing through December. Um, and so, yeah, it was a great four years. What was your most memorable game? From BC? Yes. Ooh. Um, it was probably – we'll give you two. Is that okay? Yeah. All right. The first one was the bowl game we went to sophomore year, the quick lane bowl. Uh, we beat Maryland in a, in a really good game, and that was – the, the program's first bowl win in a long time. And uh, the, actually the whole defensive line got the MVP of the game. Um, we had – the, the stat line was ridiculous. I think we had like 10 TFLs, a couple sacks. Um, and so just be just to be able to contribute to uh, the team uh, and the D-line in that game, that was a lot of fun. Uh, and then our senior year, so 2018 – uh, each year, uh, Boston College plays in what's called the Red Bandana Game to celebrate um, a guy named Wells Crowther, who went to Boston College and played lacrosse, and he passed away in the 9-11 attacks, uh, but he was helping people uh, out of the building and saved about 20 people. So each, each season, we play a game in his honor, and our senior year was against the University of Miami uh, at BC, um, and we were both kind of good teams trying to um, – um, play well enough to uh, get into a good bowl game. And we beat them uh, 27 to 14, maybe. Um, but just that win in the environment uh, of the stadium, um, those games playing for, uh, playing for Wells are always more hyped up. So that was a really cool win for us. Yep. Once you finished up there, you were drafted to the Detroit Lions. How did it feel when you got – your name called? Yep. So I actually, I was a undrafted free agent. So I was oh. getting calls late in the, late in the draft. Um, but ended up just signing afterwards, but I signed with the lions and either way, um, you're fulfilling a dream, you know? So a lot of guys do get drafted and you see the phone calls and, um, and they're emotional and, and that's definitely a cool feeling, but it's just as cool when, um, there's teams calling and, and still want you to come out and um, and play for them. Uh, great legend, great legends come af after the draft. Tom Brady didn't religion. get drafted. And then uh, you know, got Julian Edelman. Uh, there's a lot of good players um, that don't get drafted, and it's just how you approach it, right? You could you could uh, prove them right by, um, or no, excuse me, prove them wrong by. Uh, you know, you should have been drafted, and if you just go in and work hard with the chip on your shoulder, then uh, things will work out. As a D lineman, which QB are are you looking forward to bringing down? Well, I, I uh, grew up a Chargers fan, um, and so I, I, you know, I Philip Rivers would be fun uh, to bring down. Just uh, always admire the way he played and the way he battled in games. So that that would be pretty cool. If you could choose any position, what will it be? Any other position? Hmm. I think tight end would be really fun. Tight end or uh, – yeah, probably tight end. Do you know why you think tight end? Ooh. Um, well, you get a little bit of both, right? I, I like the physicality and aggressiveness of football, and so – uh, with tight end, you get a, you you're involved with blocking uh, and hitting guys, but at the same time, you know on pass plays, you get to run out and catch the ball and um, try and score touchdowns. So you kind of get the best of both worlds. So, so you're saying you'd like to expand what you're doing right now? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Absolutely. Do you have any pets? We do. We actually, uh, my family just got a dog 
um, a Maltese, I think, a Maltese puppy, uh, just a little little dog, uh, probably a month or so ago. Uh, so that's been really fun, especially during quarantine. That keeps keep us busy. <laughs> what is the most challenging part of being in the NFL? Uh, there's a lot of challenging parts. Um, I would say the biggest thing, the biggest difference is uh, just the mental preparation that goes into it. Um, because in college, you still have to be a student and manage that, those responsibilities. But once you get into the NFL, it's, it's, you know, all football. And so you have to study more and that becomes your job. Um, and it's weird thinking that a sport becomes a job, but uh, it is. And it gets uh, all the play calls and, um, you know, knowing tendencies of, of the other team. That all becomes really important and helps you play faster if you uh, study. Yep. So you're saying um, that in college you have to study and in the NFL you have to study, but it's two different things? That is true. Um, I think the game just gets more, uh, more complex. Um, the playbook is, is more complicated in the NFL. Um, and then that's your full-time job. So you, spend, you dedicate more time to football. So as a future NFL player for me, what advice do you have? Just keep working hard. Like you said, got to work every day. And um, like I, uh, I said in the last interview, the way I, I looked at it growing up, you know, when I was in, I played, started playing Pop Warner in fourth grade, I think. And when I was playing Pop Warner, all I wanted to do was play high school football. And I got to freshman and JV and all I wanted to do was play varsity football. And then you and you keep working in each stage, right? And then you're in varsity football, and you want to play college football. College football, you want to play. So there's that that progression. And if you kind of just set each goal, right? You can't you can't just set the big goal. You got to kind of do attainable steps. And if you eat, if you set those progressive goals, um, and just keep working to get to that next step, uh, hopefully it all fall into place. Who's the greatest defensive lineman of all time? Mm. Let's see. There are a lot of good defensive linemen. Mm. I think Aaron Donald right now is, is pretty dominant. And then J.J. J. J. Watt as well. Um, yeah, there's a lot of good defensive linemen. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. There's so many big linemen out there. Mm -hmm. And you guys don't get enough respect in my perspective. Oh. You guys are a big part of the team. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. So what's your favorite moment playing in the NFL? Uh, well, I was uh, fortunate enough. I got picked up by the 49ers um, and so got to go uh, practice with them. I was on the practice squad. Um, so I practiced and helped the team prepare, uh, for their, their games. Um, so the coolest part was just being a part of the Super Bowl um, and being down there, um, in Miami practice all week. Um, and it didn't come out in our favor, but, uh, you have to respect the hard work that the guys put in all, all year long. And, um, it was just cool to be down there, you know, you, you grow up watching it, and, and then all of a sudden you're on the field, and it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah. What was it like watching Patrick Mahomes do his thing? Well, it was tough because, uh, <laughs> you, you know, um, you were hope, yeah, uh, pretty incredible. Another really good athlete um, and a good quarterback. Leads his team well. Yeah. So have you met with Cam Newton coming in, you know, the literal tank? I have not, and no, I've never met him. No. Nope. I heard he's coming into your team this year. Look forward oh, to that. Really? I haven't seen that. That's pretty cool. Who's your so, favorite player? My favorite player? I don't really have a real favorite player. I like a lot of players. Yeah? What position do you play? I play quarterback and wide receiver sometimes. Okay. Nice. Any quarterbacks you look up to? Uh, Patrick Mahomes. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good, pretty good guy to look up to. 
Can you tell me about your experience playing for our very own here at Sideline Connect, Mac? Coach Mac was great. Um, like I said in the in the other interview, uh, he did a good job of um, keeping it on. You know, he'd play music at practice uh, from his phone and um, was always looking for fun drills. But he also knew each defense alignment's strengths and weaknesses and knew uh, where to push push us and where to let off and other times where to coach us hard. Uh, and so I think he did a good job of that. And, yeah, he's a good leader of our group. Can you – what are a few short and long-term goals you have? Ooh, uh, well, short-term short term is uh, to stay healthy um, and, you know, stay inside and do, do our part for uh, helping this, um, this pandemic end, hopefully soon. Um, but for now, you know, I am in, I am at home in San Diego, and so I'm getting to spend time with my family and my siblings, which has been awesome. Um, they're still doing online school, and that's the good thing is I'm not in school anymore. <laughs> so uh, I did my time. But um, so they got they got school during the day. But my my younger brother's a junior in high school, um, plays football for the same high school I went to, Cathedral. Uh, and so we get a workout together. We have a little makeshift gym in our garage we put together. Um, and so we just, you know, do that. So stay healthy, you know, and enjoy time with family are probably the short-term goals. Long-term goals, um, I haven't really thought about it, you know. It's, it's, everything's a little unknown right now with the circumstances. But um, I want to play football as long as I can and um, go from there. How are you handling the coronavirus in this pandemic? You just got to uh, listen to the trusted sources. Um, so like I said, staying inside and limiting contact with other people, social distance. But then, uh, you know, we do, you know, being in, being in the house, I cook with my mom or try to cook uh, mm -hmm. with my mom a lot. <laughs> um, she's helping me out. Uh, my younger brother and I are working out. We do family game nights, uh, movie nights. The Netflix hours in our house have definitely gone up. <laughs> um, so um, reading books, I like to read. Uh, so just things like that, you know, staying busy and uh, trying to stay active. What about you? What are you doing? Um, playing board games with my family mm -hmm. and sitting on my game all day. Sitting on what? Sitting on my video games all day. Oh, yeah. What's your favorite video game? Fortnite. Oh, yeah? Good deal. Good deal. What's your favorite color? Favorite color is blue. Favorite movie? My water bottle. <laughs> Favorite movie? Ooh. Um, that's a good one. Have you seen Unbroken? I don't think so. It's a good one. It's a, a World War II movie about a guy who is um, a prisoner of war. That's a, it's, it's a book as well, but that, that's a good movie. Yeah. On Netflix, right? I don't know. I think it's on Netflix. It might be. I passed by it on Netflix. Yeah. Well, I'm out of questions over here. Out of questions? Yep. All right. So this was Eric Hamilton interviewing – interviewing this NFL player, <laughs> Ray Smith. Boom. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Eric. I appreciate it. Nice. Hey, good job. Uh